It hasn't even been a week since Netflix released a new documentary about the catfishing scandal involving Hawaii's own Mantai Te'o, but it's already taking the world by storm. Yeah, Mika Miyashima spoke exclusively with Te'o's longtime friend, who's also featured in the film. Mika, what did he have to say? That's right, Tom and Marissa. Robbie Toma is also Te'o's former teammate. The two played football together at Punahou and Notre Dame, and when the hoax hit headlines, Toma stuck by Te'o's side through it all. I'm at the Heisman ceremony. I don't know what to think, and I can't tell anybody what's going on. It's a catfishing scandal that rocked the country nearly a decade ago, especially right here at home. Hawaii is a place that men will always uh, love and, and has respect for. And although, you know, they moved to Utah, they live there full time now. But I think, you know, a lot of the, the film took place, um, you know, with him kind of swimming and, and whatnot. And that's kind of where, you know, he grew up. That's his roots. And the documentary follows his Laia upbringing to his rise to fame in Notre Dame to the backlash the football star would face after his online relationship turned out to be a hoax. It was frustrating in the last 10 years um, you know, because I know he wanted to deal with the, the criticism and everything on his own. Um, so when he asked me if I could help him, uh, there wasn't there wasn't even a, a second guess on my end. I said, of course, she let me know when, when the interview needs to, needs to start. So, um, you know, just to be able to kind of help him tell his story, it definitely meant a lot. Thomas says he and Teo did have a conversation about their concerns a day before the documentary came out. I knew Manti didn't want people to feel bad for him. Um, he just wanted to share his story. And I think the producers and everyone involved in the film did a great job of him telling his story. And, you know, people get to make their own, I wouldn't say judgments, but whatever they want at that point. And to see the outreach from the community, the nation, it's been very special. Although the film was just released this week, it's already been a huge success. The cool thing for me is, you know, not obviously getting to help Manti share his story, but the amount of teammates and people that used to support me, um, you know, back when we were playing, have all reached out and, you know, everybody's kind of sharing memories and, um, you know, just to, to hear from people we haven't heard from in a while is uh, definitely something that's been pretty special. Millions from around the world showing their support for the untold story. I think the timing of it was perfect because had he done it maybe 10 years ago, people might not have understood the, I guess, you know, the magnitude. And also, Renaya went through that change, right? He, um, like, fully made that transition. So when you see it on screen, um, you can kind of understand it a little bit better. And I think as kind of a society, uh, we're a little bit more understanding of mental health issues now. Toma has his hunch about what could be coming next. I would assume he's going to play a big, big role in, in helping athletes with, with, you know, mental health issues. And that's becoming a... a um, I wouldn't say a phenomenon in our in our uh, you know country, but mental health is is real, and and Manti showed his faith and uh, his compassion towards towards others, and it, I think he's going to help a lot of people. And on his Instagram page, Teo, who's now married with a wife and a baby, says he's humbled and he's grateful for all of the love and the support that he's received from the project. Reporting live, Mika Miyashima, KITV4 Island News.